<laughs> Don't forget that. Um, yeah, it was um, obviously a much better feeling the last three years, but uh, I thought we were the best team today. Um, I, I thought that, uh, um, you know, our, 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 I was really pleased. I thought we, we tried to hammer home a couple of points re rebounding. Uh, was a huge part of that, obviously, plus 12. Um, and then I was really pleased with, you know, Conzo always does a great job of, of, of scheming you and trying to take certain things away from you. And uh, I think this team did a really good job of, of we, we found ways to counter. And uh, our coaching staff, um, you know, we had them dialed in. Uh, we found a few actions that we really liked. And, uh, and try to exploit a, a few of those things. And when you can do that against the Conzo Martin defense, uh, you're, you're, you're accomplishing something. So um, I, love his, uh, I love his big kid, uh, the Brazil kid, played great for them and very talented kid. But, uh, um, you know, it's, it's 12 threes again. I thought we were um, very balanced in terms of the, the shot, the way we got shots. Um, and, and Kofi in the interior obviously is a problem, but uh, all in all, another 20 assist night and uh, a few sloppy turnovers late. We held our opponent to six turnovers, uh, like, or six assists. Um, I like the way we're handling ourselves on the defensive end, and we're continuing to grow on that end as well. So all in all, it's going to be a, a better Christmas than the last one in terms of uh, the emotions going in, but uh, I'm excited to get to uh, Get uh, get these guys home and and uh, rejuvenate it, and then come back and we can really do what we do best in Illinois, and that's get better over Christmas break. So, um, but uh, good feeling, and uh, you know, proud of this group tonight. Coach, could you comment on the uh, the fan support you get here in St. Louis? Yeah, it's unbelievable. I was telling Josh uh, walking back here. You know, it's just uh, uh, you know, it's remarkable, and 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 we understand how important this game is to uh, to our fan base, and it's it's. You know the the name of the the game is exactly right, bragging rights, and it's such a unique event. Um, but uh, you know, I was really curious because we've always had the game on weekends, and uh, uh, you know, last night we were walking around the hotel, it was kind of dead. I didn't see much orange, and then slowly but surely today the hotel was picking up, and and uh, you know, a, a lot of people around. So uh, our fans are the best, um, and and I mean that uh, not just in our league. Uh, in the nation. They're the best fans in the country. They show up and, and um, they're behind us and uh, we love them to death. You mentioned this game has been typically a little bit of a springboard for you guys. How does that change when you're coming off uh, a win this year? Well, I hope it's, I hope it's really good. I, you know, I think we've, um, you know, you, I, have a, I have a lot of respect for Conzo and the job he does. So when you, you play his teams, um, you know, they challenge you. Coaching-wise, they challenge you physically. And, um, you know, so I think it's, it's an opportunity we can continue to grow. We've played eight high major games this first semester, including our league games. And, uh, uh, you know, we've, we've played really good teams and we've, we've dealt with a lot of adversity. And uh, I'm excited just to, to continue to grow and build with this team. And uh, um, so, yeah, I, I don't think this will be any different, win or lose. I think we, we, we get to Christmas break and we can, we can go to work. What comes over Trent? What comes over Trent in these games? He seems to kind of always step up in these moments. Man, has he had some moments in here, or what? I mean, uh, you know, yeah, and I mean, you know, Trent's really good. I mean, Trent's a really good player, and uh, he's he's one of the more underappreciated players in the country. Um, you know, he plays on the ball, off the ball, guards the other team's best player, never turns it over. Um, you know, and, and plays close to 40 minutes every night and um, does whatever it takes to win. And, and then you put him in this game and he understands uh, how much it means to our fans. Our players hear it, they understand it. And, and uh, you know, Trent's a, Trent's a pleaser. He likes to, he likes to try to please. And um, so he's, he's, he's been great. He's had some great moments in this, uh, in this, in this contest, in this building. And uh, uh, happy for him, he gets to go out you know, with a smile on his face. Brad, you checked Trent out at the end of the game and you gave him a hug and it looked like you said something. What did you say to him and what did that moment mean for you? Why would I tell you? <laughs> I asked the question. <laughs> um, no, I, I'm proud of him and DeMonte. I want him and DeMonte to come out together. 
Um, you know, they're the, they're the heart of what we've tried to build this thing on in the last five years and, and our culture and our, and our work ethic. And if you guys could have seen those guys yesterday and practiced the energy uh, that they had and, and trying to help Brandon and, and Luke and, and RJ understand this game and, and what a true rivalry is. And, 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 it, and it does have a different vibe. But, um, uh, yeah, I'm really happy for, for both those guys. Brad, since your back-to-back losses, you've won seven of eight, and the one is still a pretty good team in Arizona. How do you feel like your team's progressed, and, and how do you feel, I know there's one more on the schedule, but how do you feel getting into the meet and big time? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I feel, I have an idea. I, I mean, I, I, you know, before it was, it was uh, we were literally struggling game to game. We didn't have bodies. We, I mean, you know, I think what Coleman and, and DeMonte are the only guys that have suited up every game. And, and so it was more of get by every game than build for the long term. And uh, that's frustrating for me. I don't like doing that. And now I feel like we're starting to do that. We've played really good people. We've seen just about everything. Um, and, uh, you know, I think that uh, you've, we feel like we've been on the road. Uh, we've been in neutral sites. We've been in front of 20,000. We've... Um, there's nothing this group hasn't hasn't really seen, so you know that makes you feel comfortable. Like there's not going to be any big surprises come league time. But we, we all know Big Ten's best league in the country, so it's all going to be, you know, war. Hey Brad, uh, obviously when you're coaching a game, you're in it, you're at work, if you will. Are you able to at all enjoy the dominance that is Kofi on some of those plays? Oh hell yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you elaborate? Uh, I, no, I, I I do every day. I'm I'm in awe, um, and in terms of, um, uh, you know, everybody sees his power and his aggression and his his almost violence sometimes that he plays with the basket. How athletic was that dunk? And 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 where he left from? And you know, he does something every day that you just go. No. Okay, I'm glad he's on our team because nobody else can do that. And it is unique. And um, uh, then you, you pair that with how good a young man he is and what a wonderful kid and, and, and how much he, he wants to be, uh, how good he wants to be. It makes it a joy every day. So I'm, I mean, I say my prayers every night that, and, and know truly how blessed I am to, to, to coach him. Coach, the chemistry, Last question. the chemistry you found offensively, what's been key to finding that, especially without Andre out there? Yeah, it's just, you know, it, again, and I, I keep, I sound like a broken record, I know, Derek, but practice. Just figuring out the balance, you know, and, and, and knowing the opportunities to play off Kofi, to play at the three-point line, to get guys shots, to figure out what lineups um, work and don't work. And, and then you have to figure out in a game like tonight, okay, they're going to scheme you, so they're going to do some things and try to take some things, some, some, some options away. So how do we go about attacking that? And that's been the process. And, and now we're starting to figure that out. And again, our assist totals are, are great and extremely high. And, um, you know, we had the highest points per possession in the country since 2008 in the last game. So our guys are finding that balance. And that's something that uh, um, I'm really excited about. And now we keep involving more people and Brandon and, and and Luke and RJ and, and those guys into the flow of things, and that's something I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about. All right, thank you, everybody.